Secondary gains. This is a powerful thing that so many people go through, but they don't realize they're going through it. What did you say before about there was a reason for me to be sick? Yeah, there was a lot of reasons. It was really serving me from a protective perspective, from a survival perspective. Yes. What were some of them, if you could just name a couple of them? I think there was a few unhealed fears and like trauma and just beliefs about the world. I mean, when I was born, I had a birthmark on my face. I was one of the first kids to undergo surgery and like, it was kind of traumatizing. Yeah. I underwent a ton of procedures as a kid. I was on the news. And so I think I also had the belief that it's not safe to be out there as myself. I had some beliefs like that. And then also just a lot of fears about life just in general. And Mm. I think that that was one of them or like people aren't safe or, you know, I had all kinds of limiting programs that were running. I also was so afraid of confrontation. I was so afraid to say no. So I think that that A lot of it was fear. And I think that it created this barrier between me and the world that was like my little safety nook. I didn't actually have to face anything. And I remember so much of your training. You would say like, once you start to get well, it's not like you just frolic off into the beach. And as soon as I started to get well, I was like, oh my God, this is why I created illness. Because I actually had to face all of my fears. I had to face everything that had been protecting me. And it was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever been through in my life. This is huge. Now, this isn't for everyone because I feel like some people, I certainly through my recovery, I didn't feel like I had secondary gains, but I think we all have secondary gains in life. We do, whether it's like, oh no, I want to stay single because I just want to stay single. But like really truthfully, your heart's been broken and you're so afraid to get it broken again, right? Or I don't like making money because maybe you had a really bad experience with someone who had a lot of money, who was an asshole. And so you never want to be like that. And that's a secondary gain. Secondary gains are really useful in some instances. And I loved what you said that it's really a self-preservation act. So it's coming from a place of love. It's a part of you that's trying to protect you, but it's also hindering you from where you really want to be. That's powerful to realize. I'm in the spiritual world and sometimes people are like, you created your illness. And I don't think that's helpful at all. But when you explain it from a secondary perspective, like there's some genius reason why you created this and then the ball's in your park and then you get to uncreate it. I got a download one day and I was like, I created this. I can just swing the pendulum to the other side. I'm in charge. And that's when things started to move. Cause I was like, oh, we did this. It was an empowering thing. It wasn't like a self blame. Right. And I think that that secondary gain helps to understand that it was like a protective thing. It wasn't a bad thing. I love the saying, I am the problem and I am the solution. And what you're saying is self-responsibility, really. That's really what you're saying, which is a huge part. We have a whole training just on how to become responsible for yourself and not blame yourself, not blame others, but just come into a place of empowerment so you can bloody move forwards. Because until you do that, you can't. Like, you're literally just going to grand circles. You're a pinball. You're in a pinball machine. And you're just going from (laughs) doctor to doctor to quick fix to blame to it's that person's fault. Why me? Until you get it on some level, that there's our self-involvement, it's impossible to heal. Agree. 100%. That's what it took for me. You've got to get to that point of pain where you try so hard from the outside. You know, you're looking from the outside in and you're pinballing basically to all these outside external resources and it doesn't work.